It's absolutely magical in this place. It always seems to work out our way. And they've got the numbers to prove it. This dog pound, the student section guys, they're hostile, they're relentless. What's up, Saluki Nation? Welcome to another episode of In the Dog Pound. I got the one and only Trent Brown with us today. Trent, how's it going? Doing well, doing well. Happy to be here. Yeah, looking forward to uh, another summer down here. I am, I am. This should be a new summer full of a lot of new faces, but it should be a good time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want to start with um, international finance, All right? <laughs> international <laughs> finance. So I actually pulled up your transcript. So. Oh. And I pulled my transcript up too. Oh yeah, of course you did. Okay. <laughs> page, look at that one, that's page six. <laughs> Pull the change of page six. That's yours, right? I'm on page six right now. You got that one, and then this is mine. Yeah. So both of us going into spring of our junior year, right? Yeah, 2008, we, 2022. Both had a 4.0. Both had a 4.0. Yep. And then <laughs> I'm always here to help you and try to teach you new things, right? Mm -hmm. Do you see the schedule that you took going into your spring? What was it? Um, you had five classes, right? Yeah. Five classes, all finance and one accounting, was it? Mm-hmm. Do I see a withdrawal on yours? Yeah, Do it. 12 hours. Oh, 12 that's hours interesting. And the sociology See, I know, I know we always talk about your 4.0, but I did not know that you had to drop one. Well, that's Was some, were things going know. south? No, not going south. I just <laughs> trying to teach you that five I think straight business we need, classes. We need, you, you need to be able to fight through. That's what I'm doing. Well, I don't why, quit. That's why I took six in the summer. All right. But anyways, I think the 3.9 is still holding up pretty strong. Yeah. And uh, he's obviously, uh, you're graduating in three and a half years. I am. It's yeah, this, this December. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So how was the uh, three years now? Yep. Gone by fast, gone by slow. Thoughts? I mean, looking back, it went by like that. But like, obviously, when you think day to day and all the memories you've had and the things that come up in the locker room, you're like, wow, like I have been here like a while and it's. You've shared a lot of experiences with a lot of different people and different faces that have come in and out of the program. But yeah, I'd say overall, looking back, like I can't believe this would be going into like senior year, like third summer, third, fourth summer, <laughs> fourth and summer, yeah. fourth summer. And um, well, that's just crazy to think. Three and a half summers, maybe. Yeah. yeah with the pandemic, it was yeah. a little bit of a yeah, crazy summer. Yeah, that's fair. Some quarantines and different things. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, obviously, about this last year, it was a, uh, uh, a tough year for you. Two years ago, we played in the conference tournament. Uh, we beat Bradley. You sprained your ankle in that game. Don't mm -hmm. really say anything. We play Loyola the next game. Mm -hmm. You're playing on a, a very badly sprained ankle. Then you're out for basically the whole spring, mm -hmm. half of the summer, kind of hurt your groin in the summer. Yep. Get back a little bit in the fall, then hurt your back, a very serious back injury. Yeah. Um, just in terms of the mental and physical part of going through that nine month stretch, how was it? Uh, it was a roller coaster for sure. Cause I mean, I felt like every time I got back, I was like, okay, I finally got through that. I'm about to push forward. I'm about to get in great shape. I'm about to make things happen again and continue on like this upward track that I was going in my career. Um, but kind of just like one step back after another, it wasn't the best of times, yeah. but I mean, I think it taught me a lot and it kind of like, it, it, it was either going to deter me from playing more and wanting it more, or it was going to like make me, sh or it was going to show me how much I really did want to come back, how much I wanted to play, how much I wanted to be out there and like sweat again. I yeah. mean, that, I remember that was one of the biggest things was I was doing anything I could to just sweat again. Yeah, yeah. Like it just feels Being so inactive. like inactive. Yeah, yeah, gosh, it just. And even when you got back in January, people mm -hmm. don't understand. I mean, it's basically been ten months since mm -hmm. you consistently haven't been on the court. Yeah, and so. I know, you know, I dealt with stress fractures in my career and injuries and, and when you're on the court but you don't feel like yourself, it's mm -hmm. one of the most frustrating things is almost when you're off the court and you can't be on the court. Yeah, I mean, it's just when I came back, obviously, after the back injury and obviously 10 months of kind of just up and down, I mean, I just felt like I was carrying a sandbag everywhere <laughs> and I just was not myself. I wasn't quick enough. I wasn't like especially laterally. Um, so, yeah, it's frustrating kind of leaving the gym every day. It's just like, dang, like I, yeah. wish, I wish I could be back to right where I was, but 
just doesn't work like that. Yeah, it takes time. Well, obviously you've had a great spring and you're healthy and, mm -hmm. and going to have a great summer. And uh, you know, in terms of you know past couple of years, I mean, you've accomplished some great things. You know, last year we finished with our highest ranking since 2008, mm -hmm. best defensive team since 2008. Our sophomore year we had the best start in school history since 47-48. Yeah. What what do you want to accomplish here? before you leave? I mean, nothing but hanging banners. Yeah. I mean, that's always, I remember coming in, shooting around with Lance and Marcus, like when we first showed up on campus and we were just starry-eyed, like just looking up in the rafters and reading all the dates and stuff and um, knowing for a fact, like we have to hang one before we go. Yeah. In one way or another, there is no other option just because like, I mean, it's just something that always like pulls teams together in the for end. Sure. I know we all won in high school and stuff like that. And so you always keep up with those guys and you always have shared bonds through that. And so I think being able to do it for this university and having been here a while and we all stuck together, especially like those guys, um, it would be something that I just like would forever cherish. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it's called in the dog pound. Yep. Talk about playing in front of the dog pound. I mean, obviously Man. your first year and, and last year and, and uh, uh, just in terms, I thought last year, I mean, it was building. They did a great job. Mm -hmm. uh, they came on the road to Illinois sure State, did. Indiana State. Just, you know, how important is it for you guys when you have that type of support from the dog pound? Man, I mean, it, it must be terrible to play in front of for other teams because <laughs> I sure love it. I mean, they have our back through every single game. Um, yeah, being on the road and busing over a couple hours away to multiple games, I mean, it's incredible to have – that type of camaraderie from just like your students and um, just people around campus, it's great. I mean, it just makes you feel like you're working for something more than just something for yourself. Yeah. Like you're in here every day in the summer from June all the way through August and there is something and there's people who care about you and there's people that want you to succeed and like it's that extra push. Yeah. And uh, no, they're, they're just incredible. Yeah, well, it's going to be a fun year. Uh, they've done a great job. And Students are awesome, you know. Yes. Uh, kind of do a, a thing to finish up here, 0.5 seconds. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we talk about that in our program. You know, not letting the ball stick, quick decisions, 0.5 sure. seconds, pass, shoot, or dribble. So you got to give me no thinking right now, right? <laughs> you can't overanalyze this, all right? You, you, you just got to go with it, all, all right. right? All right. Biggest strength and weakness of your golf game? <laughs> Biggest strength on a good day is my drives. Um, weakness, as of yesterday, was chipping. Man, it was horrendous. I was just getting right under the ball, and it was, it was not going anywhere. Um, so I guess as, of, as we're sitting right now, so the short you're, only, good. you're short only as good average. as your last game, as your last round. So short game was very subpar. <laughs> Most underrated spot to eat at in Carbondale? Ooh, underrated. I mean, I wouldn't. Yeah, new freshman coming in right yeah, now. Yeah, I'd say, I mean, most people don't go to Changos. Um, that's that's where I've been hitting a lot. Okay. Uh, the Chango wrap with Doritos in it, that is a great go. Sounds like a gluten-free yep. vegan. Doritos, right steak, there. pico de gallo, I go. mean the whole the works. It's yeah. it's great. Favorite win of your career? Um I'd say the Northern Iowa game here my freshman year. Over Butler, huh? And I mean Butler is just that was when we had fans and like Butler yeah. didn't have enough like people there to like really make them upset. Yeah, yeah. I know they were hurt because I remember coming in, they were shooting like their last shots right before we came on. They were eyeing us down and everything like that. And they, they didn't think that we had it in us, but I don't know. We had a, there was a special feeling like that day that there was no way we were coming out there yeah. without a, like without a win. All right. You got three responses for this one. Only one word. You can either say Marcus, Lance, or yourself. All right. You got that? Mm-hmm. All right. Cleanest locker? Lance. Lance. All right. Best 2K player? Probably Lance. But Lance. Marcus, Marcus might have something to say about that. Who's got the best bounce? <sighs> Lance. Well, Lance. Yeah. Lance is running away. Yeah, Lance is running away. Best uh, chef on the team? Me. You? Yes. Over Marcus? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. All right. And the best student section in the college basketball? SIU Dog Pound. <laughs> All right, thanks, Trent. Absolutely.